Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to do a filament review of Filamentum ASA Extra Fill. So let's have a look after the intro. So first off I want to state that I bought this filament with my own funds. I was not sent this filament from Filamentum or compensated in any way. So this is just my thoughts on a filament I bought on the web store. So let's have a look. I have quite a number of prints here on the table and I want to show you those. So let's have a close up. So one of the first prints I did was this retraction test and this came out absolutely perfect it was not any issues very clean print and, and no issues and, and the strands are it's, they're pretty strong it's quite difficult to break them apart on the bottom bottom part so I was really happy with the print I did with this one and I then printed out my maker coin and actually did two of those and they came out pretty nice all as well and I was printing this on, a, on my Prusa MK3 printer and this was coming out excellent and my coins had pretty good detail in the, in the lettering and in the back so they were quite quite good and those are printed without any infill it stands up like this on the printer and those were giving me great results I also printed this Benzy, <laughs> I broke this off just a few minutes ago I was testing the strength of the filament and this Benzy came out pretty nice, there was, uh, it was quite difficult to, to break it apart so layer heat adhesion was pretty good but it's a very clean print and, and no issues with the, this filament and, uh, no no stringing or, or no no issues so this was a sacrificial <laughs> boat to test the filament strength and tend to break the things I print to test out strength but this was coming out great I also printed out this test and this came out absolutely perfect basically uh, uh, the bridging here was really clean and the overhang tests here also really clean and the dome at the side of the dome really clean and, and overall just uh, a very good print and printed all those overhang tests as well and here I was getting a little bit of drooping in the topmost part in the 70 degree and this was facing away from the fan and this was towards the fan so this one was a little bit better and as you can see the, the ends have a, have a little bit of drooping and it's not very it's pretty clean here on the 60 degrees so it's only on the 70 degrees those issues show up I also did the spritzing test and this one came out pretty good uh, absolutely no issues and very good spritzing performance with this filament so I was quite quite happy with this one and here I did the Otis model by Gareth the Chaos Cortec and this one came out excellent as well no stringing here in between and, and just pretty nice nice looking print and, and no issues here in the back very smooth and here you can see some mechanical prints I did a series of mechanical prints with this filament to start with this is a, a knob I, I printed out made this small model and I use screw this into a door and then you can pull on the door and this is uh, just to show a, a mechanical part it was like a mushroom <laughs> model I did in fusion it was a very simple model but this came out excellent and I printed another one that I put on my balcony door I needed a handle on it on the outside the uh, old one had broken off and this one was giving me good results and it's really really strong and layer adhesion is, is super good I was trying to break this earlier and it's super solid <laughs> and here are some <laughs> funny prints this is a, a model I did to put out Christmas lights this slides over uh, a beam and the lights go in in this slot here and then I use a zip tie to tighten up the wires and I did a series of those prints 
and when I <laughs> turn the model and having a look at them, they, they kind of look like a very skinny rhino <laughs> with the feet on <laughs> the head of the rhino here. So it's turned out quite funny. But those mechanical prints are outside uh, in the in the sun, and I want to use the ASA filament for that purpose. It's good for, in regard of sunlight and, and outdoor use. And here are more mechanical parts. This is a part I need to replace on my refrigerator. There's a, like a glass uh, shelf that needs supports on the side to... And I or, had printed those in PLA over a year ago and, and one of them had an issue that it cracked up. So I decided to print new ones and, and those are with ASA filament. They're quite strong and I think they're more better suited than PLA in, in that use case. And finally, I printed this Christmas tree from Angus, Angus Makers Muse, and this is in a smaller scale, and here you can see how it holds up, and it's a very, it's a, like a torture test with a lot of retractions and steep overhangs, and it came out pretty good. As you can see in the, in the bottom part, uh, there are some drooping, but for this test, this came out pretty good, and it's quite tough and, and strong, and, and I was quite happy with the strength. Of this filament. Those were the prints I did with the ASA filament from Filamentum. I was really happy with this filament. It was performing really well, very easy to print on my Prusa machine. Uh, no stringing and pretty good layer adhesion and, and excellent strength overall. Uh, I broke apart some tests to find out the strength and uh, like the Benzie it was quite difficult to break apart. <laughs> but uh, for, for mechanical use like the, the the brackets I used for the Christmas lights that I put on the balcony. This is a perfect use case. This is ASA is good for outdoor use, and I think it's a good good option. Also, like a mechanical part like this one, I think it's a very good good uh, good stuff for that. And I tried acetone smooth uh, print, and it took a while to to smooth out. And I made a mistake with that model. It had zero infill, so the part it was a was a Omnom model uh, because the, there was no infill, the, the model concaved in. <laughs> I, I guess I put it uh, too much, I put, uh, put it too long in the acetone environment. <laughs> but you can acetone smooth ASA if, if you need to. So it's a good, good uh, material, I think. But for this, uh, this will be it. I was really happy with this filament and you should have a look at it. Like I said in the beginning, I, uh, it's not a paid review or anything like that. It's just my own thoughts on this filament. And I paid myself for this roll of filament. But for now, I uh, thank you for watching. I hope you like and share and, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a lot of stuff here now. But for now, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.